All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I went to Advance Auto to get a battery for my vehicle. They told me that they could sell me a battery, but they couldn't install it because they can't change the battery because if they pull the leads off, supposedly it resets the computer. It's always gotta have 12 volts on it. So I think I've come up with a way to bypass that and get it situated. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've come up with. We're gonna do it together, hopefully it works right on uh, camera here so we'll see what happens I'm wearing gloves I never usually do but I'm gonna be putting battery corrosion terminal spray on my battery so there's no corrosion later on down the road so let's see if this works if it does you guys want to have to do it for yourself you don't have to pay you know some high dollar mechanic to do it and I believe if you have either a battery charger a jump starter that's what I'm gonna be using I have both or anything like that I believe this will pretty much take care of what you need so let's jump right in here go over here and check it out and see if it works all right so what I've done is I've opened my fuse box and I put my positive cable right here which goes to the battery you could put it right here but I know that it goes right here so I just went ahead and bypass it and I put the negative on the ground post right off the battery so we'll turn the battery post on make sure you get everything ready because you need to do this kind of fast so you don't for whatever reason All right, here we go. This is a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll take it off. You don't want to have these cables just flopping around either and touching everything because uh, it could short out, spark, and you don't want that at all. So, all right. Old battery out. New battery in. I got it situated, it's not in there yet, but I wanted to make sure that I did get it on just in case for some reason those things were to pop off. Now they did say that it's possible that the car will not start and you have to take it to the dealership anyway and that's about a $1,200 from what I looked on the internet, which doesn't make any sense. Anywhere from $200 to $1,200 to reset your computer. So now they got everything semi-tight the battery in there like it's supposed to be all right finish tightening her all the way down turn this off pull it off let's give it a test start and see what happens Well, there you have it. I don't know about you guys, but I hate it when somebody tells me that I can't do something. So there you go, I proved it. You can do it. You don't have to take it to a dealership. Can't feel more comfortable, but it's super easy to do. Don't let it overwhelm you. You saw it worked. I'll leave links down below for where you can get that same charger that I have, or booster. Believe me, I have one in every single vehicle I own and they are top notch. I really, 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 really like them. And I think it's definitely the best thing, especially if you need a jump start because a lot of people don't want to give you jump start anymore because of COVID and just because they're assholes. So anyway, if you like what you see here, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.